Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. All things will take their designated places and many things will come to pass. Not always does the eye perceive the sun's rays, but the sun ever warms the earth. Love's warmth is lavished upon you. Please continue watching for the messages from the venerated Master Moria as recorded by his disciples Nicholas and Helena Rorick, vegetarians. Vegan, because we are not murder accomplices. The fresh mountain air and beautiful valleys and gorges of Ingushetia make us feel closer to the heavens. Serdechni privetvam ljubljashie prirodu zriteli. This means heartfelt greetings to you, nature-loving viewers, in Russian, one of the official languages of Ingushetia. I am Maria. The earth-loving Ingushetians wish that the world's natural beauty may be enjoyed by all future generations and understand that this is only possible through the climate-friendly, plant-based lifestyle. May Allah bless us all. Welcome to Love and Knowledge Will Conquer All from Leaves of Moria's Garden by Nicholas and Helena Rurik, Vegetarians, Part 1 of 2 on Words of Wisdom. The esteemed mystical and philosophical writers Nicholas and Helena Rurik are two of the most influential spiritual thought leaders from Russia. Recognized for founding the doctrine of Agni Yoga, also known as Living Ethics. Believed to be a synthesis of all yoga's spiritual disciplines, Agni Yoga focuses on the daily practice of love, beauty, and noble action. Nicholas Rurik was also a highly esteemed artist whose illuminating paintings, charged with the energy of his mystical experiences, drew many pilgrims from around the world. His wife, Helena Rurik, was the incentive for his interest in Eastern spirituality and theosophy. She is depicted in his painting titled, She Who Leads. Traveling extensively throughout Asia to deepen their spiritual studies, the Ruriks eventually met their master in Darjeeling, India. The ascended venerated Master Moria, also known as El Moria, is a master of the Great White Brotherhood, an order of ascended masters and their incarnated disciples, one of whom was Helena Blavatsky. In fact, Master Moria inspired the founding of the Theosophical Society, and to the Rurics, he was the inspiration behind all of their noble ideals for the world. Moria revealed messages of higher wisdom to Nicholas and Helena Rurik, which they recorded on paper and later gathered into a series of texts. Today, we will present excerpts from the lovingly dictated messages of Master Moria as recorded by his disciples in the book Leaves of Moria's Garden, where the enlightened Master provides wisdom on why certain things happen and insight on how to handle such situations and bring happiness, hope and love into our lives. Leaves of Moria's Garden, Book 1, The Call 1924. Knowledge will help you to avoid danger. Knowledge of my manifestations will multiply your strength. Fearless is the Apostle. You will realize the given happiness in due time. The mist enfolds the foot of the mountain, but the summit is ever bathed in the sun's glory. 
Under its rays, the mist clears, and you behold my love. When satisfied with worldly life, the spirit cannot enter the promised temple. True happiness knocks at the heart's portals, but the holy words are not given entrance. Happiness rejected is happiness departed. I send you bliss. Accept the accidental as preordained. All is foreseen by us. Every seemingly random event is a page of the future. Work in valor and in peace. The teacher wishes to reveal to you how innumerable are the assaults upon the walls of the White Lodge. The time for understanding cosmos will come. A miracle performed is like a lamp when lit. Afterwards, none will remember the darkness of the chamber. God knows all worlds. Love and create and full joy will come. Wonders are manifest in life. Open your eyes and you will perceive. All things will take their designated places and many things will come to pass and we shall manifest the needed signs. Not always does the eye perceive the sun's rays, but the sun ever warms the earth. Love's warmth is lavished upon you, and your spirit has no room for a cold barrenness of soul. The unworthy will depart. The great plan for the rise of the new race is wisely designed. The hand of the teacher reveals the power of the rays. Comprehend their salutary light. Moria fills your being with the power of calmness, and when the stillness of harmony embraces you, the force of your arrows will increase. Austerely do you begin the great task. The light of my banner will bless you and will lead you on the path to manifest my truth. Know how to begin, and the teacher will know to send you his shield. I foresee happy results from the fulfillment of my command. And with the seal of Solomon I attest, I gave, I give, and I will always give. I tell you, be vigilant. Combine strength and understanding. My ring will seal the happiness of those who spread my teaching. When amidst the highest vibrations, the body is transformed. The body obeys the spirit. The teacher suffered for his words of truth. Man resists the path to light. Darkness is more pleasing to the eyes of moles. Love and knowledge will conquer all. Your spirit will ascend and you will pass by the uncomprehending ones swiftly as you would mileposts on the way. Smile at the difficulties upon your path. I vouch you will conquer. My children, you are unaware of the battle that rages around you. Both secretly and openly do the dark forces fight. Your spirit, like a dam, is lashed by the waters. Your heart unfolds and will be flooded with knowledge. Fear not, O oh heart, you will conquer. Miracles surround you, but amidst life's tumult you heed them not. Inscrutable are the ways of God in their infinite means to bring the message of the Spirit. Even a blade of grass can convey the tablet of commandments. The ship encounters the fury of the waves, but it reaches its destination. Pure service flourishes if its roots are deep and strong. My shield may not be upon their doors, but the approaching ones bear my banner in their hearts. I am the morning flute calling the flock. I am the waters of the spring refreshing the lips of the sorrowing. I am the mighty pillar of the temple. Approach, O oh vigilant ones. My children, the teaching of life under my guidance is the straightest path to an understanding of cosmos. You must recognize the obstacle of ignorance. 
the physician can cure only when he understands the symptoms of the illness. Those of vast possessions are often blind to the world's phenomena. Seldom does the preoccupied one perceive the future. In the history of mankind is revealed the great battle at the change of races. At the call to battle, each summoned warrior takes up his arms. Providence leads nations by way of struggle, and you, my warriors, guard yourselves with the shield of God's will, and the divine song will ever find echo within you. Before the deluge, when men were wedding and feasting and bargaining, Noah was already selecting the most stalwart oaks for his ark. Accept the harsh lessons with a smile. It is better to trust your guide upon the night path than to grope your way alone in the dark. My children, these hazardous days will pass and you will safely enter the new world by the appointed path. The whole universe is the body of the Almighty and we express the command of the highest manifestations of the Supreme Will. The Servitor awaits upon the Lord, and the All-Merciful helps us to find the best attire for the Festival of Light. According to our zeal are we given the hue of our spiritual vestment. O oh, thou benevolence, O oh, thou sufferer on the cross, thou wilt attest the fire of our resurrection, there at the foot of the ladder leading to the temple of divine glory. Your happiness lies in understanding the divine energy at the root of the universe. Let others count the leaves of the mango whilst you savor the fruit. Guard the roots and the fruit and give away the leaves, for they renew themselves each year. For more information and more of the Agni Yoga Society books, please visit agniyoga.org. As a vegan, we do not become clogged with dairy products or bogged down by heavy meat and dead foods. We strive to have healthy bodies and minds and not make ourselves walking graveyards for dead animals and their products. Seppa Johnson, Vegan. Enchanting viewers, it was wonderful to have your company today. Please join us tomorrow for part two of this program. May you find joy and contentment in God's infinite love. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash WOW. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule et suprememastertv.com bar oblique WOW. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule y suprememastertv.com barra inclinada WOW. 저희 방송은 다양한 언어를 제공합니다. 다음을 참고하세요. suprememastertv.com slash schedule 그리고 suprememastertv.com slash wow